Welcome back, West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. Starting you with these current temperatures because we're still having a pretty hot day in the 90s for just about everybody. 90 degrees here in San Angelo, 90 up here in Abilene as well. A couple places finally dropping down into the 80s, seeing a lot of 88s around town, like right here in Brownwood, Comanche, Brady, and Mason, but seeing as low as 87 out there in Eastland as well as down here in Ozona. But it's going to be another comfortable and above average night in the 70s. We're seeing 73 for that low here in San Angelo as well as in Abilene. Pretty sure the main lows that we're seeing are some 73s as low as 71 degrees like here in Menard and El Dorado, but 75 degrees seems to be the highest up here in Breckenridge. So very comfortable nonetheless. But from this point on, our pattern is going to be a bit more active. We have the opportunity for severe weather as we get into Wednesday evening. That cold front is finally going to start to make its move. Now, the Storm Prediction Center actually just made a very recent update. So we have a few, a little bit more of this area that's included within the slight risk getting from about Scurry County and further upwards. We've got this central region, including Eastland, even all the way down to Sterling County. That's within that slight risk and everybody else down here in the Southern Concho Valley, the Edwards Plateau and parts of the Hill Country are within that general thunderstorm risk. So right now our main threats are looking to be large hail and winds and unfortunately we cannot rule out a tornado, but it's looking like most of the instability is further to our north. But looking at these highs, we're still going to see one more hot day on Wednesday, but we'll have that cold front come through. Finally, it'll cool us down on Thursday and then we'll slowly grow our temperatures back up into the triple digits as we get later into the weekend and I've got your weather pattern here to show you what's going on. This cold this cold front is done stalling. It's finally going to start making its move as we get from Tuesday night going into Wednesday. We'll see some rain chances grow here in the Texas Panhandle getting into Oklahoma. You can see this bubble here where we had that slight risk for severe storms. So the front's going to make its way south very slowly as we get through Wednesday. Finally getting into the big country as we get later into Wednesday evening. You can see just these first parts of the storm finally getting into Knox County around 830. They'll start to get to get to move their way south on that time period from Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That is when everyone has that opportunity to see some of these showers and thunderstorms. I'll be honest, a lot of these models are still giving us a lot of mess. So this is more of a widespread look at everybody has the decent chance of seeing that rain with again the stronger storm staying up here in the big country down to about Tom Green County. So that front's going to continue on. We'll see those rains possibly continue through Thursday. Now this front is also in conjunction with a low pressure system that's moving through. So some rain showers could actually continue through the day on Thursday as well as on Friday as we continue through, but we will see some gusty winds as we get later into the weekend. The low pressure system will pass and we won't see much, but as high pressure starts to roll in, we'll see those gusty winds back up at 30 miles per hour. So wrapping with that seven day forecast, we've got one more day of heat. We're going to cool down for just a bit, but as we get later into the weekend, high pressure roll in, uh, we'll see triple digits make their way back and the pattern will continue.